and good. Relax your elbow. Perfect. Take a deep breath. Breathe on out. Very good. What is going on crack addicts? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be posting a wide variety of chiropractic adjustments from some of your favorite chiropractors, some of the most loved ones and most well-known on YouTube. So that's what you're gonna be seeing in today's video with some new additions also. All of their links will be in the description. That's where you can check them out directly. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button to the channel and make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss any content from the channel. Now let's get into it and I'll see you on the next one. Up next, we have Dr. Scott Hoare. Now I'm experiencing a lot of upper like neck pain and lower back pain. I've had it for a couple years now, so I'm hoping that we can fix that. What do you feel right there? Any stiffness or discomfort or anything? Mm, just a little bit up here. Okay, all right. Now look back as far as you can. Good. Any issues there? No. Okay. Turn your head to the right as far as you can looking at the camera. What do you feel there? Just a little tightness in my neck. It's a little bit stiff and yeah. limited all the way to the left. Maybe a little bit less on that side. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. Middle of your back as far as you can. Good. And now the other side. Any stiffness, nope. discomfort, limitation? Mm -mm. Reach from down below, as high up as you can. Good, now the other side. And that's, that was tougher to get to, wasn't it? Feet together, can you bend over and touch your toes? Okay, can you do it without bending your knees? What do you feel there? Just tightness in my hamstrings. Okay. Yeah. No discomfort in the back though when you no. get it. Mm -mm. Okay, put your hands over your head, watch out for this bar and lean back as far as you can. And what do you feel right there? Just a little tightness in my back. Okay, right as far as you can. Looking at the, looking at the camera. Good, now the other side. A lot tougher to go to the left. It is, yeah. And you felt discomfort? Right here. Okay, all right. Um, and turn and face uh, this wall. Feet about shoulder width apart. Put your hands directly over your head and squat as low as you can. And up. Very good squat, how'd it feel? Uh, fine, that's just my knees. You feel? I have bad knees. Did you feel knee pain or discomfort? Uh, no. Just the clicking and clacking? Just the clicking, yeah. All right, all right. Gotcha. Basically, a uh, stiff leg deadlifts for sure hurt my back, mm -hmm. but I feel it right here. And then if I'm going down doing a regular deadlift, let's see. I also feel it right here. Mm -hmm. So give me three or four reps. Okay. And you feel the discomfort right now as you're doing it? Yes, correct, right here. Okay. At this point. Really nothing. Okay. I use lidocaine patches when it hurts. I'll mm -hmm. crack my own neck, but mm -hmm. that's pretty much it. Right there. Very good. And that was your first neck adjustment. It feels better already. <laughs> All right. A little bit lower on the other side. Very good. Good. Thumb and pinky falling apart. So notice we didn't get a big crack or a pop, right? Mm -hmm. Yet, that clearly made a difference to your strength, right? Yeah. That's what matters. The speed with which we manipulate presses a reset or inhibits the nerve restores the normal proper function that we're looking for your neck to have. Bend your elbow, straighten your hand, and I'm going to pull towards me. Don't let me. Again, it's a little weak, isn't it? Did it irritate anything? No. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Okay, relax. Straighten your hand, pulling towards me. A little bit stronger, yeah? yeah. All right. Make a fist. I'm going to push your elbow down. Don't let me. Really strong. Any irritation? Mm -mm. Your thumb and your pinky. Pull. 
I'm gonna pull them apart. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Not pretty, pretty weak on that side, huh? Okay. Bit. All right. Where it kind of becomes the rest of your spine. Good. Very good. Some pinky. And it's a little bit better, but it's not all the way better. Yeah. Do you ever have hand or wrist issues? Uh, sometimes I have wrist pain. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good flexibility in your wrist. Pinky. And we're way stronger, right? Better, yeah. Good. Elbow in at your rib cage, and I'm going to pull it out like that. Don't let me. Ready? Mm -hmm. And again. That was weak, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. So we're getting in there. And good. Relax your elbow. Perfect. Take a deep breath. Breathe on out. Very good. Pull towards me. Don't let me. Again? Yeah. Plenty strong. Gotcha. All right. All right. So I want you to put your chin to your chest. Good. And breathe out. There we go. So look at the internal rotation difference here. Mm -hmm. And there. Yeah. Big difference, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm doing a uh, hip uh, manipulation here. Okay. So I'm going to drop it over here. And you feel, it feels like it wants to pop out, right? Yeah. Okay, good. No, we're doing it right. A little better, huh? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> strong lady. All right, other side. I'm going to push down. Don't let me. Okay, big imbalance, right? Yeah. So those are your hip flexors. So what I want you to do is turn and face that way. So, uh, the hip flexors tested weak. Mm -hmm. The nerves that control your hip flexors exit your spine right around here. Okay. So that's what I'm going to adjust, okay? Gotcha. Breathe out for me. Good. I'm going to push your leg down like so. Don't let me do that. Really strong. Other side. Pushing down. Don't let me. Again. Not so strong, right? Mm -hmm. Turn on your side, this side up. So your glutes just tested weak, which are an important part of deadlifting, yeah. right? Or just keeping your back healthy. So I'm gonna adjust your sacrum, which is where the nerves out of there control that okay. motion. Take it, no? There we go. So both of them went pretty easy, so they're, they were ready to go. So Raise your knee up, hold it up right there, pushing down. A lot stronger, yes? Yeah. All right, good. good. And last one. Very good. Switch feet. Does that make sense to you? That yeah. If the if the feet aren't moving well, aren't absorbing normal shock. Yeah. Then your hips recruit and and move and activate differently. Makes sense. Having said that, your feet have pretty good motion, so. Okay, that's good. Up next, we have Dr. Doug Willen. C2. Oh, <laughs> yeah, got it there. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely got it, right? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Do you feel that? Yeah. So we gotta figure that out, right? Yeah, so the, the, she's got a lot of pressure here at L5, sacrum L4, L5. And blow it out. Big breath in. Blow it out. I'm going to scoot down towards me and I'm going to secure your ankle here like this. 
Okay. And this passes behind your head, but you'll have to help me so it doesn't pull on your hair, okay? So. Uh, oh. <laughs> That's insane. That's never cracked already, on me before. It was already cracking before we started. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> I thought the pre-crack was the crack, and then it just kept going. When, when I first started stretching, it started to pop twice. It went pop, pop. Mm -hmm. Then I did the big pull. How far down did it go? So far. Oh. Whoa. Let's do another one, okay? Good. Now I'm going to have you lie on your side this way, facing this uh, wall. It's tight, especially leaning back. Yeah. So we're going to try to, here, let me have this arm. I'm going to try to create some space there for you and open that up a little bit, okay? So we're going to go right into here, L5 sacrum. Oh. Wow. I mean, there was, was pre-cracking and cracking, which is kind of cool. Some people only crack when you thrust into the joint yeah. with the uh, impulse of the adjustment. And, but you were cracking just from the stretch yeah. and then more cracks. Wow. Got it. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.